Hey, how's it going guys? Zerai here. So today I wanted to talk about the showcase that recently happened for Square Enix's Presents. Now, I, oh, oh, oh my god, the showcase was very, very bad. This was perhaps the worst showcase of E3, like a whole thing. Like I said that the Ubisoft show was a little bit disappointing, but yet, my god, this was just by far, like, fail. Anyway, I'll get into it, I'll, you know, explain myself as well, if you don't agree, okay, I guess. But yeah, so, anyway, first things first, they showcased the Guardians of the Galaxy. And yes, indeed, looks like rumors were indeed true. And we're gonna see plenty of actually gameplay as well of the, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, it will be coming out on October 26th as well, uh, with the collaboration of Marvel, Square Enix as well. So, you know, it doesn't really give us good indication that it will be a fantastic game. Square Enix, they're known for actually messing up a lot of the titles, such as the, well, if you don't know it, Marvel's Avengers. And because of this, it really gave me a, a lot of vibes of the Marvel's Avengers. Marvel's Avengers as well, on top of that, seems like it has a lot of implementation of combat. And I don't know how to feel about this. On top of this, if you guys did not know, you only get to play this whole game as a Star-Lord. You do not get to play as any other characters. That just... I, why? That's just a very questionable decision. We do know it's not going to be a live service of a title game, and it is going to be instead uh, a story-driven experience instead. But yeah, I don't know. Um, the gameplay, the trailer did not intrigue me at all. Will I be getting it? Absolutely no. Um, yeah, it's just going to be one of those, oh, it's a game that will be forgotten in a few weeks, a few months, that's it. it will, it's just such a big title name and yet dis disappointing how it actually presents itself. It looks very rough around the uh, edges and stuff like that. I don't know. Anyway, maybe they were showcasing it on the Xbox One, like original, and maybe that's why it looked very poor uh, with the quality anyway. But I don't know, because like from the screenshots, it looks crispy, looks clear, looks fantastic. But with the gameplay and the roughness of it, nope, nope. It just reminds me of another Marvel's Avengers fail. But that's just my opinion, of course. So next up after that, they showcased Marvel's Avengers expansion, and that will be coming, of course. And on top of that, including a bigger expansion of War of uh, for Wakanda, including Black Panther. This, I don't know, it doesn't give me much. It just showcases the story, right? It does look kind of entertaining, looks cool. But again, I already tapped out on Marvel's Avengers, even though I never even got in the game. Because I already knew better, so not to get it. But I don't know. It just looks interesting. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Nothing really spectacular. Next up, I wanna talk about is Babylon's Fall. Well, this game, this game, what a disappointment. Live as a service game. My god, what happened to this? I thought it was gonna be a single player experience that I was actually genuinely looking forward to this years back. Seriously. But now, since it's gonna be Live as a service game title, I lost complete and all of the interest for this game. And you know, the trailer and the showcase of it, it didn't do wonders either. What happened with those? What happened with that anyway? Anyway. Alright, so another thing was very weird and very stupid the way they made this. Final Fantasy Originals are getting pixel remasters. What does that mean? How did it look different? Yeah, it, it doesn't do anything. It didn't show, showcase anything. And that just skimmed by it like 30 seconds later, if not even less. What was that? Give us more explanation. Give us more examples. Give us more comparisons. What, what happened there? Jesus. Life is strange, true colors. Okay, looks cool. Uh, perhaps the best presentation of everything, even though it could have been shorter as well, but still. I can see why a lot of people may be looking forward to it. And I actually have given a shot and played Life is Strange, I believe it was one. Um, I think there was also uh, Into the Storm or whichever one that was. I, I didn't play the second one, I did play the first one. How about that? It just makes more sense this way, right? Life is Strange True Colors will be coming out on the September the 10th. Well, uh, Life is Strange Remastered Collection that includes the first and the second game on the September the 30th. Next up was the Legend of Mana Remaster. It's actually coming in June, June 24 to be more exact. I don't know what to make out of it. I'm, I, I don't know it. That's all I gotta say, so I'll just keep going. War of the Visions and a Final Fantasy collaboration is coming this month as well. It's whatever for me. Can't say much about it. Um, um, I don't have much knowledge regarding it. 
The Nier franchise is also coming to a mobile by the name of Nier Re uh, Reincarnation. This looked actually kind of intriguing because I do like Nier games and I may give it a shot and play it. Next up was the Hitman Sniper, The Shadows. So this is actually coming on a mobile. I don't know what to make out of it. It just it was like a few few seconds CGI more or less trailer and that's it. And last but not least, and um, chaos, chaos. That's all I heard pretty much from this. Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin. This was actually the game that was been rumored that it's going to be a Souls-like experience that has a Final Fantasy uh, implementation in it. What happened with this? It's just all I heard was chaos. And man, who put this trailer together? And also, where are the colors? And on top of this, what is this guy wearing? We're talking about Final Fantasy here, and yet this guy is wearing normal tracksuit, some sort. Anyway, you know, you can already hear by Toma voice. I was ex extremely disappointed with this. What the hell happened with the Square Enix show? It was insane. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. Oh, also should perhaps mention that Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin is actually available right now as a trial version on the PlayStation 5. But unfortunately, there's some kind of, uh, like save data issues and they just would not let you boot up the game. I already have downloaded it but I couldn't boot up the game because of some issues. Uh, but yeah, uh, okay so uh, talking about this and you know the Final Fantasy Origin I may give it a shot and play it perhaps even share it again with you guys and tell, tell you uh, what was my experience with this trial version and yeah just stick around for that I uh, will make sure to upload that video too. Alright then, I think I'm done for today. Thank you so much for watching guys. Like and subscribe. See you guys all later and uh, yeah, have a good one.